Once you have your book formatted in Word, that is where this video will start. So if you don't have your book formatted yet, don't worry, another video is coming soon. But once you have that done, this is where you're going to be. Both of these programs are free, so get them both and let's begin. What I'm going to do is open up Calibri. So what we want to do is click on this green icon up here and add books. Now what you want to do is search for your Word document. The book I am formatting today is here, so all I need to do is click open. Now what we need to do next is fix this metadata. So this allows us to alter the authors, add a series, and put in the cover. So I am going to do that. The number here is going to indicate which number it is in the series. And then for the cover, just go ahead and browse. Again, find where your cover is on your computer. Now down here in terms of the rating, the tags, any of that, you don't need until here the publisher, you want to put in your publisher or your publishing company name. Sometimes that is just the author name. And then for published, you wanna put in the date of publication. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then once you are done down here at the bottom, go ahead and click okay. I could not find that button for the longest time. So now we are almost done. This is how quick it is. So now what we need to do is keep going in this line. We added our book, we did the metadata, and now we want to convert this book. So we're just going to click on this. Here, you can edit a lot of different things. A lot of this is not necessary. So I am going to skip a lot of this. Now here is where you can put in your EPUB output. So this is going to put it into an EPUB 2 version. If you need a different version, it's there. I'm just gonna leave it with two and click OK. You can see down here, it is going and doing its thing. And now it is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the EPUB version so I can view it and Everything is formatted. I have my table of contents and then it starts. And if you formatted it properly in Word, it should be good to go. And this is what you get, a finished ebook. It's perfect, it's beautiful. 